Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing some more Bitcoin technical analysis because I want to discuss what is going to happen before a very important day, September the 22nd. Not September the 23rd when back launches, September the 22nd. Because guys, the chart looks like it is primed and ready for a major breakout. Whether that comes today or a week from now, we'll be discussing. But in today's video, I want to catch you guys up with what is going on on the short term, but also discuss a major breakout that is coming to Bitcoin within the next two weeks that you guys need to be aware of. So guys, we're just going to go ahead and dive right on into it. If you do enjoy today's video, make sure you smash that like button. But other than that, guys, without much further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into it. I want to zoom in down here to the shorter term time frames and take a look at what's happened here over the last 12 hours or so. Guys, as you guys know, Bitcoin was in a bear flag yesterday following this bearish breakout. And I was concerned that this bear flag was going to push Bitcoin further to the downside. But in fact, Bitcoin managed to break bullish out of it, which is rather encouraging, actually, until you see what happened just a couple of hours ago at the time of recording this video. Bitcoin broke bullish and was trading sideways. It wasn't trading bullish. That's important. If Bitcoin were trading bullish here and moving to the upside, this would have been a much more important move and may have changed my mind on my bearishness outlook. But that's not what Bitcoin did. Bitcoin traded sideways here and we had a little bit of a dive, a little bit of a dump here at about seven o'clock this morning, Eastern time. And guys, this kind of thing can happen very easily when we're talking about very early morning hours where the majority of the United States is asleep. The volume is very low, as we can see right here. This is probably the result of a whale or several whales or just some really bad luck in the market and a lot of people all at once just dumping their Bitcoin because what this looks like is a crash because of thin order books. Because immediately after this crash, as you can see, Bitcoin recovered quite a bit all the way from a bottom down here at 10 to 30 up to where its recent high was of 10 400. But guys, all of that to say that Bitcoin is still looking bearish. We had a little bit of bullish movement, but now we're right back down to where we started. We're testing the same support as we were yesterday, and it doesn't look like those tests are going to end anytime soon. If you guys want more short term technical analysis on Bitcoin, go watch yesterday's video. I analyzed this entire market right here in quite a bit more detail. TLDR, Bitcoin is not looking very good, and it looks like it's going to break bearish below $10,300 or so. And we're going to see Bitcoin headed towards 9,000 or in that range. One thing to point out also are MACDs. As we can see, MACD has turned bearish here on the hourly chart and we're continuing even farther lower here on the four hourly chart. As you guys know, there was some RSI divergence here on the chart that pushed Bitcoin to the downside. And a lot of times RSI divergence on the four hourly chart, there's probably still a little bit of power from that. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a contributing factor that could push Bitcoin lower here. Looking at the daily MACD, what we can see here is that the MACD is actually starting to converge on its Itself, but for the time being, Bitcoin is still bullish. And we probably have at least three more days of this before we see a potential cross, even if Bitcoin breaks to the downside. But whether or not Bitcoin is actually going to break to the downside is the next thing I want to dive into here. I want to do a little bit more longer term technical analysis. And of course, I mean that relatively because we're only talking about the next two weeks here because guys, check this out. Bitcoin, even if we don't really realize it, is sitting in a descending triangle pennant because it's at the top of a trend, this trend right here. And we have a flat level of support at $10,300 and a downtrend of resistance right here. Now, now, interestingly enough, these trend lines and these levels of support were predefined. These were already here pretty much before Bitcoin actually moved into this pattern. This level of support was defined by this bottom over here and some more bottoms and tops over here. And this downtrend of resistance has been here for months. What this means is that you have a very strange pattern in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Sometimes you see this show up on a cryptocurrency chart and the market reacts to them in a lot of different ways. What I mean by that are when the trend lines are predetermined and they weren't determined by the uptrend or the downtrend themselves. If we were to see the market be rallying, if we were to see the market rallying here and then we went into a pennant like this, then we could pretty confidently say that the uptrend and the downtrend were defined by the market at that moment. But what I'm talking about is when these trend lines were already defined because of some price action back over here and then they got got rolled over into a new consolidation pattern. When you see that happen, a lot of times the market is going to interact with it in a strange way. I'll explain exactly what I mean. Bitcoin, when these kind of patterns show up, it'll sometimes just break straight through them and then come back up. It won't respect them as much sometimes, but also in a weird way, they're just as relevant because a lot of times you'll see breakouts of them. Remember guys, breakouts are defined by their volume and it's not really a breakout unless you see a lot of explosive movement and a return of volatility and volume to the market. But the point is these are flexible. But with that in mind, Bitcoin has another two weeks or so before we come to the climax of this one over here. And before then, Bitcoin is going to make one of two decisions. Either it is going to break bullish. And frankly, guys, I've talked about this many times on the channel. If Bitcoin breaks above this downtrend of resistance, we're probably headed straight to $14,000. But if Bitcoin manages a bearish breakout below $10,300, which I personally still think is the most likely scenario, we're headed straight down to $9,300 to $9,400 down here on the uptrend of support. And what that means, guys, is that in the next week or so, we're going to see at the very least a 9% move. So I have a feeling once we break one of these 
these levels of support or resistance, Bitcoin is pretty much instantly going to go to a level of support below it or a level of resistance above it. So guys, tell me in the comment section down below, what do you think is going to happen with this little descending triangle pennant right here at the top of this trend? Is it going to break bullish and are we going to see Bitcoin rally back up to highs around $12,000 to $14,000? Or is Bitcoin about to break bearish and come back to $9,400 on this uptrend of support? Because funnily enough, guys, if we look at the weekly chart here, uh, the 20 exponential moving average next week will probably be right here on this uptrend of support. What that would mean is that if we were to get a weekly close down there, we would finally have my test of the 20 EMA that I've been calling for for a month and a half. As I said, I'd be very interested to hear your take on that in the comment section down below. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. Before we do, though, I do want to remind you that we are running the sale on the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy. Guys, the reason I mentioned CT2A so much is because this YouTube channel is a business unlike most other YouTube channels. There are a lot of business expenses that come along with running this channel, and it's the awesome people in CT2A that are learning technical analysis who have purchased the course that are able to pay for all of the business expenses. We have advertising budgets and payroll and a lot of equipment that I've been buying lately for new projects we're working on. It's not like a gaming channel where I can sit down with my Blue Yeti here and just talk into a microphone and that's it. There are thousands of dollars of monthly expenses that come into running this channel. And that's where CT2A comes in, guys. We have an amazing exchange going on here between you guys paying for the course so that we can continue running the YouTube channel and providing free content, but also you are getting a lot of content here and learning how to do technical analysis, learning how to read these markets, learning how, most importantly, to trade and invest in these markets profitably. Guys, there are currently 34 videos in CT2A every single day of the week. Next week, there are going to be five new videos coming out. Those videos are either going to be revamps of old videos or they're going to be brand new videos. Two of those are already wrapped up and the three more will be recorded as the week goes on. You guys will be getting those for free if you're already in CT2A, so watch out for those. Anyway, guys, I'm just going to say it. The Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy is hands down the best value course on technical analysis in the entire cryptocurrency space. I know that's a bold statement, but with the 850 people we've had go through the course, whenever I see them talking about CT2A, guys, I only see good things. I never see them complaining about it. I don't see a course member saying, oh, this sucked, or oh, I'm unhappy, or oh, I didn't get a response. In time. I, I don't see it. I don't ever see it. And the reason I don't ever see it, guys, you want to know the reason? It's because it's a good product that gives people a lot of value. So guys, that is linked in the description down below. I do apologize for the video being a little bit shorter today. I'm running on four hours of sleep, a Starbucks Frappuccino and a dream, guys, and it is definitely a challenge, but we're getting there. <laughs> Guys, tomorrow's video will be a little bit longer and a little bit more in depth. Like I said, I have four hours of sleep under my belt and I need to get to church in like an hour. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and do that and maybe tonight we'll do a live stream probably on Monday if there's not one tonight. Guys, I really do want to thank each and every single one of you for watching. You know, you know, it's really humbling that so many of you guys tune in every single day and enjoy the content and you leave comments. That's so cool to me and it's a dream that I've had for a long time. You guys are really making that come true. So I really want to thank each and every single one of you for watching from the bottom of my heart. I mean that with every fiber of my being. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.